Maui wildfires were the most deadly fires in a century. 99 people have died and thousands lost their homes. Lana Zak is here with a closer look at the cost of the devastation. Well, the scale of this disaster is really evident when you compare what was there before to what was left now. This visualization from FEMA shows the damage to the historic town of Lahaina. As you can see, everything in pink or red is something that was destroyed. Everything in red destroyed, everything orange, heavy damage. Only these little tiny places in black are the areas that are undamaged. Over 2,700 structures exposed to fire, the vast majority completely destroyed. The Banyan Court uh, area, which was the center of government during Hawaii's monarchy period, looked like this a few months before the storm. And now the majority of the buildings are gone. All of this white ash and rubble. The town was Hawaii's old capital, and it contained a treasure trove of cultural and historic artifacts. One that lives and breathes is still the famous 150-year-old banyan tree. It's one of the oldest of its kind in the United States. Now, the tree is still standing, but it is completely scorched. The governor actually compares it to a burn victim. It's traumatized, he says, much like the town. Now, there's also the famous Wyola Church. It is actually home to some of Hawaii's royal family members. They're buried there. It had just celebrated its 200th anniversary this year. It was nearly completely destroyed, as you can see. Now, of course, it's not just the historic buildings that were lost. 86% of the structures that were damaged were residential properties. And FEMA estimates that about 4,500 families have now been left without homes. And rebuilding, of course, we know is going to be costly. FEMA estimates that all of Maui is going to cost at least $5.6 billion to rebuild. And to understand the devastation, just the town of Lahaina is estimated to cost the vast majority $5.2 billion of that. Now, if you would like to help the residents of Maui as they recover from this disaster, you can go to cbsnews.com slash help Maui for a full list of organizations that are assisting on the ground. Meg? Those are some staggering numbers. Thank you, Lana. Typhoon 